Hello Earth Signs. Today we're going to be giving a general reading on the second half of October. Um, if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe and we'll jump right into it. <laughs> what else with the deck? Earth Signs. There goes for us Capricorn. We have the High Priestess Reverse. We have the Eight of Swords Reverse. We have the Page of Swords. Okay. All right, so I feel like you are. Um, you've come to a space of acceptance. You've come to a, a space of acceptance of something. I feel that. Um, you were probably before trying to uh, correct it and trying to fix it, trying to make something like, you know, trying to change something. And I feel that you finally uh, released that and have come to a space of acceptance, okay? Um, this page of swords makes me feel that you, you had to come to a space of learning the truth about something learning your power in something and uh, realizing that you were actually already given enough to the situation it's like the extra stuff you was doing turned out to be the thing that was creating this burden you know this issue and that's the reason you want to change so badly but I feel that you finally will get to that space of acceptance and understanding that um you're already doing your part. You're not um, needing to compensate for anything. You're already doing enough. Okay. <clears throat> I hear. I just want to help. Just want to help. Yeah, you're you're realizing though, like, oh, this isn't a personal issue with me. This is um, this has nothing to do with me. And so you accept what it, you know, what it is. It releases this burden off of you, that acceptance. It releases a lot of burden off of you. I also feel that you are um, you're being recognized for all your hard work at this time, Earth Signs. I feel that if people weren't recognizing you before and weren't kind of um, giving you that team effort that, um, you know, they weren't doing their part, basically, and the, the partnership or connection with you, I feel that this has finally come to a space of um, people understanding how to reciprocate your energy, okay? So you don't have to talk anymore with the Page of Swords coming through. You don't have to talk about it anymore. You don't have to tell people what to do. They kind of just know how to behave now when they get around you simply because of how you maneuver your energy, okay? So it's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm accepting it for what it is. I'm not here to try to change nothing. I'm not here to try to do anything besides be present so you being present and out of your head out of your space of wanting to fix something has allowed you to be more present you know allow you to become more present and um that alone creates this relief okay so yeah not my problem <laughs> not gonna make it my problem mm-hmm at the seven of cups reverse okay so i feel that this this energy is it comes with this high priestess of the wells comes across as like you know having all these choices these options to a space where it can become a bit confusing so i feel this is just a, a warning coming through as far as your um i just heard easy going when it comes to you being easy going um not to become too passive you know what I mean? Make sure that you aren't misleading is what I'm hearing. Make sure that you're still very clear and direct about what your purpose is when you're involved in here. 
you know, sometimes you do deals or you do business with someone and it's like, you know, everything just sounds so sweet that you forgot to mention what you expect out of this. It's just like, oh, this is a good transaction. Everything is already prepared for me or whatever the case may be. This is saying to pay attention to details, make sure that um, you're not just getting all the com uh, information and not doing your, you know, thorough check in with the information that you were given or from whom the information was, um, you know, released from or whatever. And so I feel that this is a space of double check, mm -hmm. double check, make sure that uh, your shit that you are utilizing to, you know, it's like your planner, make sure the planning isn't built upon hearsay, okay, with the page of source here, make sure that it's thorough. Um, efficient information that you have so that you can actually utilize this and it's not just based off of um, being ill prepared or you just being so open and nonchalant you know what I mean still want to use our discernment here okay even though we're like oh it's not my problem still use your discernment because if things are going on um, that may affect you you may want to know about those things okay so don't be so nonchalant that you become unaware of what's going on all right we have the will all right so i feel there's going to be some changes this is coming through to clarify this eight of swords energy yeah that is the change there you coming to the space of acceptance um mid-october is going to redirect this will here redirect the direction of what or where the situation was headed had you just um stayed caught up in the illusion that you could fix it on your own it's like once you start to realize that me steady trying to tell people how to get shit in order seems to stress me out more than me actually having all the fucking responsibility myself so then you started to take responsibility and just do everything that you needed to do for yourself and realize how much of a difference that helped the environment as well as changed other people's habits you know their bad habits it's like nobody wants to be caught out on their shit right so if you're in a group setting and you are the only one pulling your weight and everyone else is slacking once you're done doing your part, it's going to be very obvious who's slacking, right? Okay, and so the manager going to be looking to let some motherfuckers go. And so that's the type of energy we have here. You just notice like, oh, okay, you know what? I'm not going to try to help you motherfuckers. Y'all don't want to help yourselves, then cool. I'm not going to stress about it, but I'm going to just take care of me and make sure I'm good for whatever comes my way. And so you did that earth sign and um, basically creating that security blanket for yourself. Um, created this change for everyone else okay and so it's a beautiful thing you're demanding or commanding the floor when it comes down to energy and you walking in the room it's like I'm not going to um, try to get everybody to be on what I'm on I'm just going to be what I'm on and you guys could follow suit if you like or not yeah see we have a six of wands here very successful very successful energy it's very um, it's like you really just decided hey <laughs> i'm having fun i really get this enjoyment this celebration excitement type of energy it's like you know you really do feel like i am my my load is so much lighter when i start to enjoy time with myself when i start to realize um you know the energy i possess it's it feels so much better to spend time with the things that i actually want rather than being worried or concerned about things that I didn't know about you know that previous energy was so overwhelming that it was just like everything needed an answer and you didn't have all the answers so then it will frustrate you to where now it's like you're not looking for the answers you're just looking to make sure that you good and you're having a good time you're happy you're healthy you wealthy all that good shit you know and so that's that's what you're getting back in return so you get what you put out what goes around comes around with this will energy here and you know that and so you're like if i'm going to be putting anything on the will it's going to be abundance it's going to be positivity it's going to be diligence it's going to be efficiency hard work you know dedication you're not slacking okay because you know once that will comes back around you're you're going to like what you get whereas anybody that was slacking 
obviously they're going to get their own reward too okay so you you're setting your rewards up ahead of time and i love it for you earth signs Go down there, gotta get it. Here we go. Stubborn little card. Of course, it turns out to be <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. Alright, so um, I feel this energy is basically just telling you to um, telling you to pay attention to your idea or understanding of spending at this time. It's um. And sometimes it may be a bit discouraging or it may make you feel bad or guilt trip yourself if you feel that um, you are doing too much um, spending, you are feeling defeated at times if you say pay a bill and then you don't have no more money left. It's like, fuck, I'm tired of this shit, you know, I'm tired of this cycle. Um, I feel that you need to rearrange with this energy here, change your... A perception of what it means to spend money okay it's like you're actually investing you're putting into um, a product or you know putting your energy into something and you're receiving um, a particular result back okay so you're getting what you pay for all right so there's not necessarily spending that would mean wasting you know so you are actually investing in an experience or a product or something to benefit you something to fulfill its purpose okay so when you think like that it makes things better it makes you feel like you're not and then this is the reality of the situation as well you are not wasting money you're not wasting time you are investing Okay, so there's a strong sense for you to get um, that that type of uh, mentality together. Okay, so it's, it's, there's a greediness here with the Four of Pentacles. We already know whether he be in the upright or the reverse. He's still stubborn as hell and don't want to give out no money. <laughs> you know, it's just in one particular energy. He's a bit more greedy. He's like, I'm taking everybody's shit and I'm, you know, holding on to it. And so um, it's there's a strong sense of not uh, feeling like, you know, I'm going to be able to get more, so I got to hold on to what I have. Absolutely not. You have an overflow of abundance coming in for you. Um, but please understand that you are investing. So invest wisely. Don't invest in things that make you feel like you're just spending. Okay? <clears throat> and let's get you some advice, and we'll close this song out. Earth signs. Advice for earth signs. Mid October. Look for a sign. Look for a sign. Nice, nice. So I feel that if you are wanting to establish, um, you want to establish something like if you find something that piques your interest. And you're trying to decide if it's a good um, investment or not. I feel again you're needing to pay attention to the result. The um, pay attention to what the outcome is going to be. So if you are paying for something and you're going to have to continue to make payments on it, um, it's probably going to make you feel like you're being robbed compared to you putting much more of a lump sum down on something to own you know it's like you could save more money or you know however you're looking at it to 
suit your lifestyle at this time. Make sure that it's a benefit to you and it's not just a bill, okay? So we're looking for the benefits, not the bills here. And I feel that you need to make sure that you're investing in things that you could possibly own. If it's going to lead to ownership in a short period of time, I feel four years or less, then it'll be a good investment for you, Earth Signs. If it's not going to be that, if it's going to take you more than that for, um, let's say, four years, it could be a college thing, uh, could be, you know, tech school, grad school, whatever the case may be. If it's going to take more than four years of your time to obtain this particular goal that you have set, then I feel that it, it may be another alternative for you. It may be a different option that is better for you, okay? So you're being advised to look for a sign, okay? How much do you have to put out before you get back to what you are wanting to experience or have from this particular, you know, uh, transaction, all right? Make sure that there's a balance there, okay? Make sure that there nobody's too greedy because the Four of Pentacles reverse gives that sign. Make sure the people you're doing business with or whoever you're doing business with, they're not too greedy, of your time too demanding of your time to make you feel that you you have none for yourself it's like these motherfuckers been stole my every fucking thing for me and i have to dedicate everything to this so make sure that whatever you're doing it feels good to you it feels right and you're not becoming some type of you know slave to a system or a contract uh some type of arrangement all right make sure make sure pay attention it could be a nice pretty ass Mercedes Benz 2020 but then they want 29% APR you know so it's like uh that sounds pretty high which would probably mean you're looking at you know a very long time <laughs> to be financing this car you know so just pay attention to your options and make sure that when you're doing business deals with these people or establishments that they're not being greedy and try to just take advantage of you because you got it like that okay so pay attention Love you guys, and I will see you next time.